we'll get straight into it. From a recovery point of view, your most uh, common methods of use will be typically either heat or um, cold water immersion, cryotherapy. And in the off-season, pre-season, where we're trying to deliberately progressively overload the body, which is just simply putting demands on the body to improve, get fitter, faster, stronger, so we're better able to play the position on the field uh, for our football team. We don't want to uh, stunt our muscle growth and our protein synthesis. And cryotherapy, can, the research shows, it may do that. So simply put, if you do a huge gym session and you're putting in lots of effort to get a little bit bigger, build some body armor, or maybe you want to get stronger or more powerful by having an ice bath within that 24, 48 hours post of your gym session, you could be hindering your adaptation. Uh, the stimulus that you're putting through the body um, could be uh, reduced. So we don't want that in pre-season and off-season. Uh, we've got a current uh, going around again with the Corfu Grammarians in, in the uh, VAFA league so for those strength and conditioning coaches listening to the podcast or perhaps you're tuning into live and you're interested in gaining some experience uh, as a strength and conditioning coach then we have two spots opening at the core for grammarians both with the men's as well as with the senior women's program and it's a great opportunity for not only getting experience on the field with helping out with uh, conditioning but also uh, you will have access to a gym uh, they've got the school um, facilities that there's access over pre-season. So you get to work with big groups and uh, build up your experience. If that's something that's interest of you over the next week, I'll be um, shortlisting uh, two to three prospects for each program to then progress it to the, to the next stage of the process being the head coach. So if you're interested, we're going to make a pretty quick decision. So if you're listening to this, make sure to act straight away. Just email me. Maybe you just want to have a chat about it and find out more information about what you get. Um, it is paid, so you get two grand for the preseason season, as well as a free academy membership. In terms of our podcasts for this week, we have our Wednesday episode will be with David Misson. Uh, so he's the head of performance at the Sydney Roosters. Interviewed him uh, last week, and it was an absolutely riveting interview. He's had experience across a range of different high performance programs. So something I recommend all strength and conditioning coaches or physiotherapists, high performance staff, uh, definitely listen in. We focused a fair bit of the chat around high performance culture as well as leadership. So if that's something that interests you, tune in. That will be on, published on Wednesday. And on Thursday, we, we're bringing back our live chats with Ben Serple. Geelong, as we know, Geelong Football Club just won the premiership and he's the head uh, performance coach there. So uh, doing a great job. Uh, I believe it was his first year at the Geelong Cats. So really looking forward to having a chat with Ben. He's got a, a range of different experiences in elite sports. So really looking forward to having him on the show. If you have any questions for Ben uh, or you're an Academy member and you want to send in some questions, make sure to hit us up in the discussion forum in the Academy, or you can email me those questions at jackapaparelikeapro.com and I'll make sure to add those into the run sheet. Sunday, our bite-sized episode will be with Prime Train. So that will be released. That was from a recent live collaborative event that we did over a month ago with social media influencers. So that will be brought into a podcast episode around 10 minutes where we have Prime, Prime Train on. He was talking about how he manages the business, but also from a social media point of view, and the importance of getting yourself out there and making sure that you really understand your niche as well as some of the things that he does at Prime Train to um, boost the brand. So if you're interested in brand development, make sure to tune in for that one, or maybe you just want to boost some of your social media following. 